just popping out on this lovely, beautiful evening next to the harbour. Just, I just had to show you. It's not even coming up on the video that well because of the lighting. What a beautiful evening it is out here. As you can see, we've got a full moon. You can hear the boats clanking about. <laughs> Checking out this little curl you. Some beautiful birds on this uh, Campbell Town front. Welcome to Campbell Town! Beautiful day! It is! After the horrible rain we've had solidly for two days, yep. the sun has finally come out for today, only today, so we're going to make the most of it. Absolutely! Campbell Town is quite a big town, it's got a lot of potential, Yes. Um, so we're looking forward to this, aren't we? Yeah! <laughs> now, over the road is a nickel and dime store, I've never seen one of these. I've never seen one of these, so I'm going to go shopping there on the way home. Um, Everything, isn't it? One stop shop, household, candles, frames, tools, paint, wall, kitchen. Everything. So you want to rummage around there? Yeah, definitely. Why not? <laughs> um, Campbelltown's heritage. The whiskey capital of the world. I'll tell you why it says that. There used to be over 20 whiskey distilleries in this one town. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's only three left now. In fact, I'll tell you which three whiskies. I've not heard of some of them. Uh, you whisky drinkers might know what I'm talking about. Glen Scottia. I've never heard of that whisky, have you? Don't think so. Glen Gale. Not heard of that one. And Springbank. I've not heard of that one, but I certainly wouldn't taste it because I used to live up Springbank and it was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Campbelltown. It is beautiful. I reckon we could get a few videos here. Absolutely enjoyed our stop here, really nice. Yeah, we stayed here last night, ready for this morning. We're on the seafront here. Escapade or something it's called, this. We're over there. And we might be stopping here again tonight. Who knows? We woke up, watched the sunrise this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful sunrise. Uh, I got some <laughs> nice shots of the birds on the beach. E and eating. we're on form today. We I've slept form. well today, so I'm good. We're ready <laughs> to go, so let's show you around Campbelltown. So far we've passed past two places. <laughs> Number one was a shop was a pub called a the Black Sheep. It looked lovely, yeah. It was a pub. No, this place here. It's a pub called it's the Black Sheep. It's called the Black Sheep. It's Did a you pub. Not see the... That serves food as well. <laughs> Opens at half past seven in the morning. Wow! For what? Not a pub. Breakfast, breakfast. Oh. <laughs> um, but Black Sheep Pub. Black Sheep is a drink. That's like calling a pub John Smith's Pub. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then we've just walked here. Now it's shut, but what a lovely name. I like the theme. Harlequin Tea Room. If you look at, look, it's, it's very Harlequin -y in colours. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Little jesters under 12s. A lot of thoughts gone into that. Special Harlequin treats. That's quite a clever idea, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's cheap. House shopping again. If you yes, want to get a house, cheap. come here. Come here. What, one bedroom flat? 28 grand. 28,000 pounds for a one bedroom flat. How cool is that? Well, four, what is it? four bedroom upper masonette near the town centre. 100,000 pounds. Wow. Really cheap. Two bedrooms. 45,000. 
38,000. Really cheap here. Look at that, that's like a detached £65,000, three bedroom. How, you know, we're in the wrong part of the world, aren't we? We are, we certainly are. We are? We're not. The lemons. We're not lemons. Well, what other then? <laughs> oh, alright then. <laughs> well, I've never heard, oh, okra, witch's fingers. <laughs> Oh, no, there's some unusual things in here. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. Look at them. Tiny little uh, oranges. Oh, how cute. Unwashed, look. Just straight out of the ground. I do love fruit and veg shops like that. Yeah, I was I just do. saying, we don't often get them my way. <laughs> I'm getting fed up of this already. What? The old Halloween thing. Why? Every shop window is just Halloween now. Yeah, but it looks fun, doesn't it? Yeah, but what if you're not interested in buying anything Halloween? You then buy the items that are actually in the shop. <laughs> right, we seem to be arguing about foods a lot lately. We are! We're just past a butcher's selling beef dripping. The best quality. So I said, oh, let's get some. I'll make some nice roast potatoes later. Got yeah. some spuds. But as far as I'm aware, you have beef dripping just spread on toast. That is minging. I am sure where I come from back in the 70s and 80s, they used to just put it on the bar on bread. I've never heard of And you'd just eat it I've like a bar snack. I've heard of people maybe getting a bit of bread and scraping out the roasting tin to get it. Oh, that's minging. Mm. They have to cook roast potatoes in. Tell, tell us who's right and who's wrong, or are we both so right? Let's, let's I am sure him. in Yorkshire you used to just get bread uh, dripping on bread on the bar on a plate, and it was just a snack, a bar right, snack. So let's tell him the other one we were discussing the other night. What was that one? When I, I was making you pancakes. Pancakes, Scotch pancakes. <laughs> right, how do you make Scotch pancakes? All you do is you put them in the toaster and spread butter on them. Is that right? Right. She or, wants to put maple syrup on them and stuff. No, they're pancakes. So I put them in the microwave thinking you're going to have either sugar and lemon or golden syrup on them and you wanted a load of butter spread on it. Who's right, who's wrong? That's minging. I am sure you have scotch pancakes just with butter on, it's like toast. Why would you just lava a load of butter on it? Well, because I had that's to what do you it, do. That's what you wanted. Yeah, well nice, thank you very much. <laughs> Forget the houses, we want some land now. <laughs> and we're still arguing about it. I'm saying, look, get this one, you get a little bit of a castle or something with it. Well, we're definitely not getting that one because it's £315,000. So you then said, no, we'll get that one. Just get that. It's land, look. £70,000 on the Isle of Islay. £70,000, but look what you get. See that bump there? That is gagging to be excavated. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a Viking burial in there. <laughs> uh, right, we got to stop bickering today. Let's come together as one oh, no. and agree. Why don't me. we just uh, go separate ways and I'll meet you later? <laughs> mazzy has got her eye on the fish and chip shop. No, yeah, I was just going to say, I don't usually eat fish and chips. I don't like them, they don't agree with me. But last night I was craving these. Yep. Apparently it's one of the nicest ones around. We've got to try it. You just told me it's the only one around. No, in here though. No, but I've, I've read like really, really good reviews on this that the queue's apparently really long. But it don't open till well, five. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> over there you've got the Bangladeshi tandoori. And I've heard that is absolutely fantastic as well. So well, what, why is that unfortunate? Because that's what I'd want. Yeah, but listen, our last takeaway was Chinese. I would never pick a Chinese. We got that for you. So this one is what I'm going to be picking. No, we got a Chinese. Are we still bickering again? We <laughs> got a Chinese because that's all what they were there. I really, really fancy a curry. There was a McDonald's up the road. There was restaurants. There was all sorts. It's one of them days, isn't it? Tandoori. <laughs> Fish and chips. Tandoori. Fish and chips! Tandoori. Only in Scotland. <laughs> well, yeah. You won't see anywhere in England having sledges in the window. <laughs> it's broke already before you even buy it. That one is, yeah. Uh, it's enough to put you off, in it. <laughs> I've heard that there is snow forecast in the islands this weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. That's weird you say that, because I was going to look into it when the snow was coming. I'm really nervous about the roads here. Don't worry about it. You've got I've, it covered, I've got it you? all covered, yeah. <laughs> in snow. Kintyre Reuse Hub. 
some nice things in the window here. All made out of whiskey barrels, by the way. Yeah, that's so good. So got this lovely wine rack. That's Two, beautiful. Two hundred pounds. Yeah, I love that. It's even got the old plates on there. Look. Yeah. See them? What else have we got? A little candle holder. Glass holder. Very nice. So you can forget everything we said about it being sunny and lovely, it's absolutely freezing. <laughs> yeah, we're cold now. <laughs> as soon as you get down the back streets and you're not in the sun, it is freezing. That is a very bitter wind this morning. Wish I'd have put my coat on. Right, we've done this side. Should we cross over and go back down? Yeah. Go on then. Plenty of shops to see. Yeah. A lot of them still aren't open. Um, but there is a church around the corner here, look, which looked really weird. Julia, wasn't it? Yeah, very strange. So this is the church we were on about. Have you ever seen such a tall tower away from the actual church? Normally the church would go up to there and you just have a bit of tower on top, but this tower is bigger than the actual church. I wonder why. Yeah, the whole thing is just weird shaped, isn't it? The edges are kind of curved. Uh, I have like it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just throw a little fact in for you while Maz is not looking. She might like this one actually. The annual Mull of Kintyre Music Festival is held here, which has seen acts play here, Mazzy, like uh, the Stranglers have played here, and uh -huh. Deacon Blue. Do you remember Deacon Blue? No. <laughs> no? No. <laughs> wow, I haven't heard of Deacon Blue in ages. And I'll tell you who else is playing in somewhere near here. Um, Delamitri. Do you remember Delamitri? No. Oh, she ain't lived, has she? <laughs> Delamitri is a Scottish band. But they were really, really cool. Wait, do you know them? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Of course I do. <laughs> so here's one of the whiskies I was just talking about. It says there from the dis distillers of the world's best whisky, uh, Glen Scottia. Never heard of it. But you know, I'm not a whisky drinker. It looks nice, the bottles look nice, the displays look nice, but I can't drink whiskey. I don't get what kind of shop it is. It says no alcohol is kept on this premises. <laughs> wonder what that is in window then, vinegar? <laughs> Curiosity shop. Really nice stuff. Well, what? it started off all right, Mazzy. Yeah, and then what happened? <laughs> Man United shirt. Oh! <laughs> on, wind, on wall there, I'm not going in there. Yeah. Just seen a sign in the doorway there, it says, got an air weapon, you know your air guns? Yeah. Uh, license it or surrender it. I didn't know you had, must be a newish thing. To have a license? To license. have a license for an air gun. Because oh. as I told you in Stranra, I went down on the beach with my cousin Dale. Yeah. And he was firing an air rifle, we were just walking down the streets with it on his back. Oh my but God. Them were different days, you know? <laughs> yeah, you're talking like 80 years ago. Oh yeah, because I'm 85. <laughs> Number 42 Restaurant Kitchen by Gordon McDeal. It's lovely. Very posh, Massey. Yeah. Very posh. It's so posh, I'm not seeing the prices. Oh, the prices are on there. Where? Massey. Well, let's take 10 a.m. until 11.30 a.m. Whoops, yeah. sorry about the brightness, guys. Let me adjust you. Um, that's the price underneath, the 10. We haven't even put zeros. Everything's rounded up to the £10, £4, £5. So oh, five pound, okay. five pound for a glazed cheddar crumpet with a yeah, tomato. That's not bad. You what? You have no laugh. You can get six crumpets for eighty pence in Morrison's. <laughs> the Legends of American Country Show. You've got them all on there. Look, Johnny Cash, Glenn Campbell, Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton, Patsy Cline, Jim Reeves. But they're not the real ones. They're just tributes. That would be fantastic. I would love that. Wouldn't it be really good? Uh, yeah. I'd love that. I suppose it would be. And then this is, we've seen this around everywhere. Monsters yeah. Ball, it's at the Town Hall. 10 quid, that's not bad, is it? Over 18s only. What is it? I don't know, but there's prizes, prizes for the best dressed. Oh, okay. Music, live music from the oh, Twisted okay. Pumpkins. Entire water. 
when I walk in? Absolutely. All the local produce looks fantastic. I can smell pines, Mazzy. Smells good. <laughs> Let's see if we can get something to taste. Some local stuff. Okay. <laughs> We've come out of that shop. Bag full. Stuff to try. Stuff to try. Tried to go for Kintyre things. You know that Scotty? What was it? That Scotia. Was that? Sco that whiskey. whiskey yeah. One of them whiskies. I have to get it up on my phone again, sorry. I did have it on here, so. Scottier. It was some Scottier, wasn't it? I think it's Glen Scottier. Glen Scotia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glen Scotia. I've got some Glen Scotia cheese. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's like a whiskey cheese, so that'll yeah. be nice to try. And a load of other stuff, so we'll show you what's in the bag later on. I've got to carry it around now, or? <laughs> till we get back to the van. So yeah, we've noticed there's another motorhome in front of us now, which if we do stay here tonight, that would be great. So I would prefer someone in front of us, because we've got a black cab at the front, you see. And it's not easy to see for oncoming cars, and I don't want them hitting us, so. Anyway, we'll be back in a moment, we'll show you what we've bought. The day ain't over, we've both just need we've to We've come back for a coffee and a toilet, and, a toilet, yeah. and to empty my bag. Back at the van. Yeah. Ke uh, kettle's on. Cup of coffee. And what goes better with cup of coffee? Cheese and biscuits. Oh, that'd be nice. <laughs> that'd be nice. You can always tell when we've got the kettle on in this van, by the way, because if you shake... It rot. No, it's not doing no, it. No, it's not. Yeah. It, it's never sat properly and it always rocks. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's see what we just bought from... What was it called? Something Harvest or something? Can't remember. Can't remember. It was a lovely shop though. Could have spent loads in there, but we were behaving. We did all right actually. Yeah. Um, so you just is, is that what rolls. it's called? Is that what it was? Argyle Bakeries, um, Campbelltown Barms, local. Yeah, boring. The Scottish <laughs> Seaweed Company, sure. Lightly salted seaweed chips. I think they'd be quite nice. Mm, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, Don't know what I we're going to think, gonna think so. of them. I think we've got the right flavour, just yeah. salted. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got these to try. It's not all Scottish, by the way. I don't think these are. Balsamic vinegar and roasted shallot flavoured mixed nuts. Just a tiny little bag, just to try them. Um, I think they'd be quite nice. Somebody said get some rings, and I didn't know what rings were, so I'm guessing they mean these jam rings. So I got some of them. Are they local? Patterson's original. I think we've had them before. Gluten free, though. Mazzy. Oh wow, fantastic! You can try them. <laughs> yeah, they're uh, coconutty, aren't they? Th oh yeah, coconut jam rings. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're nothing new. <laughs> they're not new, but I think we're in the area where they should be nice. I've got some Donald oat cakes. Picked up the wrong one because they're falling oh, to bits. Oh no! I hate these things. It's, like, like it's like chewing on cardboard. Well, I got them thinking, <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, you wanted to try some mayonnaise, didn't you? Yeah, I'm a mayonnaise connoisseur, so, yeah. and I never try anything new, so I thought it I'd try it. It doesn't say it's one. local or anything, it but did it is say it was produced Scottish. in Scotland. Yeah. Um, and some cheese biscuits from the Isle of Mull. Harissa with chilli and cumin. So they might be quite weird. And on top of them, I'm going to put some Glen Scottia, some single malt Scotch whiskey, mature cheddar. Lovely. Now, when we went to pay for this, Mazzy, yeah, I thought she said something like 30 odd pounds. It wouldn't have surprised me. <laughs> and because that didn't have a price on it, you see, and with it being a local entire thing, I thought it might be very expensive. So I was panicking, thinking that's a lot of money. How much was it all? £15.15. So that's not bad, is it? It's not bad to try a few things. Do you want me to open this then and yes, start? Yes, please. I'm looking yeah. forward to trying this. How do you open it? <laughs> not doing it now. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear that. The kettle's rocking in the background. Um, right, we're going to try this. So just yeah. check out the middle of this. It looks... It does look a nice one. It looks like chocolate around marzipan. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's a very strong smell. I think these smell more than Do the they? cheese. The, uh, what, what are they called? Uh, can't remember. Uh, cheese biscuits. I can smell the mayonnaise. I've opened the mayonnaise. Uh, <laughs> tongue twister. 
I told you she were wrong. She was thinking of putting mayonnaise on this. I still might try that. On a yeah. cheese biscuit with some Scotch whiskey cheese and mayonnaise. Why not? <laughs> There's okay. everything I like. Let's I try think. a bit of biscuit on its own first. Yeah. Get up. Oh yeah, that's nice. Loving that. Mmm. Oh. Bit of an aftertaste. Did you find? No, beautiful. They are nice. They're very, very strong, really aren't they? Really nice, yeah. I don't think you really need cheese on that, but no. hey. <laughs> let's try some of the Glen Scottier malt whiskey cheese. Are you trying it with biscuit? Mm -mm. The cheese is beautiful, but I can't taste the whiskey because- Partly, I can smell the whiskey. Because the cheese biscuits are so strong. It's taken all my taste buds away. Oh, that's good. It's beautiful cheese. Mm. Really nice. I'm looking forward to trying that with no... Just later on, so I can <laughs> taste the whiskey. <laughs> beautiful cheese, beautiful biscuits. Goodbye, Mazzy. Absolutely. That's worth £15 just for them. Sometimes we buy this stuff just to try and then... We, we don't, don't always eat it. eat it, yeah. But that is going straight down our throats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is, oh, that is the nicest two things to try and eat I think we've ever, we've ever got from Scotland. Yeah. So I, I oh, I need to choke on myself. I am going to try with a bit of mayo. Oh, that's just so wrong. Why? Because the cheese biscuits are so salty and then you're putting mayo on it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Go for the lot. Mmm! You'd be surprised! So, Maz is trying the seaweed crisps. Personally, I don't feel they look like the picture. I do. Get one out. I think they do look like the picture. No, they don't. Get one out and put it next to it. It's quite a strange flavour. I've just tried one. It's similar. It's similar. It, it's like a flavour I've tasted before. What is it? Maybe a prawn cracker. They just taste like quavers. They taste like prawn crackers, but obviously not the same. Prawn cracker eat quavers. They're all right, they'll get eaten. Come on, let's try these while we're at it. Go on then. <laughs> I'm gonna save these until I were in bed. Okay, for some reason I had a feeling these were gonna be wet. I don't know why. You can't see them. We'll have to no. get some out. Pour them out. What, what flavour are they again? Uh, balsamic vinegar and roasted shallot. Mixed nuts. Beautiful. Oh, I'm not tasting that. I can taste the onion on them, the shallots. Really nice. Mmm. Oh, we've done so well, Mazzy. <laughs> we've actually bought stuff we like. Mm. <laughs> Just saying off camera, that cheese, honestly, is amazing. Might even buy some more to take mm. with us. It is fantastic. You know, different flavour maybe. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of good flavours there. One of them was with uh, claret. You know, like red wine. A red wine cheese, a when local one. When you said one. that, I thought, oh gosh, it's got blood in it. <laughs> no. <laughs> they had a madras one. A I madras thought that one. might be interesting. No, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> but claret, I think that was made on the Isle of Arran. So I might pick one of them up. We'll see. Beautiful. Excellent. Let's get back out there. Yeah. <laughs> Right, off we go again. Yes. Just having a lovely chat with a local. He was so lovely, you know who you are. Had lived a, here over 50 years. <laughs> lived here all his life, he's still in the same bedroom he was in when he was born. Yeah, He that's actually bought his mum and dad's house. Um, for, I, didn't, I didn't get his name, did you? No, I thought you might have done, so I didn't ask. I didn't want to be no. rude. He'll be watching, and yeah. he knows who he is. If I could describe him to you guys, it was like, is it Steve McQueen in Papillon? He looked like Steve McQueen, but before he thinks that's a really big compliment, I don't mean before he went in prison, I mean Steve McQueen when he's been in solitary confinement for a, for a year and then they oh, drag him back out again, he looks a bit ragged. He looked like that. He was such a lovely chat. Lovely he chat, was. really nice chat. <laughs> Tea on the Key Cafe. You know why that grabbed me eye, Mazzy? Why? Because Key is what I used to call my dad. His name's Keith. I never right, called okay. him Dad for some reason. I called him Key. When I, that was one of my first names. <laughs> first words I ever said. Not Dad or Pa. <laughs> no, Key. And my first word was T. So T on the key. My first word and my second word and my dad. Oh, oh, babe. 
only just noticed them, Mazzy. Look how many logs there is over there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's going to be no trees left on the Kintyre, guys. Come on, stop cutting them down. The picture house. Go on, I'll let you tell your little interesting fact because you knew this, I didn't. Yeah, it's the longest continuously running picture house in the entire of Scotland. But at the minute, it has actually just finally closed down for refurbishment. So. Uh, <laughs> the man we just spoke to actually said it is the oldest picture the house oldest, in Scotland. Yeah. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Yeah. Never trust anyone else's nice. facts. It is nice. I like this building beside it. Look at the carvings on the wall there. Where? Yeah, on them sort of, do you see it? Yeah, camera can't pick that oh, up. Oh, and actually, that's a hereditary centre. We're going there. Hereditary centre? Not hereditary. We ain't going to any hereditary centre, Matt. What's it called again? I don't know, but it's not called an hereditary centre. What's it called? <laughs> Let's go for a tour around the hereditary centre. Heritage centre, Mazzy, heritage. And that's not it. There's actually some seals here now, but got the wrong camera. Should have brought the other one as well. But we, I'm sure we'll get them later on, Mazzy, from his van. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> like, where are we now? Oh, we're over there, the other side of this pier, but there's a few in the actual harbour here. Did you get a picture of that rainbow yesterday, darling? I tried. I did get a picture, but I don't know if it's any good or not. It was a not. double rainbow. A double rainbow, yeah. Yeah, it was really nice. Oh, history board, Mazzy. Picture of the old arbor. Oh, that's it. Oh, more logs again, look. It's always been known logs. for logging. Then, logs, 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 logs. Beer barrel. Whiskey barrels, in it. It's got to be. Whiskey and wood. So, I did think this was going to be closed, and it is. It's a beautiful building. Look at that. Campbelltown Library and Museum. Um, it opens between 9 and 12, it says on a sign there, so it might have been open this morning, but we've missed it now, Mazzy. That's a shame, It is a shame. It? What's that blue plaque up there? Is that anything? Highlight our heritage, hydroelectric, contributed to us, blah, blah. Yeah, that's boring. Let's move on. What on earth is all that about? I don't know if they've done that to stop people standing there, but it looks absolutely awful. <laughs> it's dangerous, it's going to clutter, you know, stuff, this rubbish is going to get stuck in it, in it. You know what I mean. It's got a beautiful little island down the middle here with the palm trees and the beautiful flowers. If only there was a garden here, Mazzy, some kind of garden. You know, like a proper garden, something a bit special. Yeah. In fact, just round the corner, Mazzy. Yeah. I believe there might be. They're trying to build something here, and we don't know what it is. It's going to be called the cask. The cask? Yeah. Okay, so I'm assuming it's meant to assemble a whiskey barrel. It's going to be a whiskey barrel, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but that it is. They're is just, that it? They're, yeah, they're just That's finished. They're just resurfacing it. To... All right. It's all new paths and starts, look, they do, oh, start, finish, the Caledonian Way. Oh, all right then. So this is the start of the Caledonian Way. Oh, look. They ain't got a Blue Peter badge, Mazzy. They've got a Blue Peter boat. They've got their own boat, Mazzy. Look at that. Oh, they must have done something pretty special not to just get a badge and get their own boat. Roll. They've got a plaque. They even got a plaque. How lucky are them? Oh, there's an information board. Oh, I'm alright here. Yeah, I'm happy here. You've got your Caledonian ferry terminal here. Oh, there's a story, Mazzy. There's a story. It's a really tragic story, Mazzy. Yeah. It's about the Quesada, a boat, right? There were 18 people on this boat and they were going to go to Ireland. Most of them worked in a local garage, right? They were off to Ireland and they had reports that the weather was going to get bad. So they decided just to go over to Arran, I think it said. They went to Arran and then they were coming back to Campbelltown that night and the weather worsened and they got into trouble at the other side of the island here. What do they call it again? Da, 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 da. Dava. Dava, is it? Dava Island. So they let off some flares. This was 1966. Let off some flares. 
some guys here saw it, got in touch with some fishermen who went out on a speedboat and managed to save ten lives, but eight of, I think it said, eight people died tragically, yeah. Aww. But ten of them were saved. Here's the men look, this is them on the boat coming back. So these are the guys who were saved here. And it looks like these are the guys who saved them. So it's a good story and a bad story. It's said to be one of the best rescues of all time. But these poor guys died. So I was going to show you a very, very, very special place. Um, but we've run out of time for you, I'm afraid. <laughs> Can't show you it. If you want to see that place, you will have to come back tomorrow yep. to see the conclusion of our time around Campbelltown. Yes. It's been a lovely first morning here. Um, let's hope the afternoon continues. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye, Mazzy. Goodbye. See you again tomorrow. Come back. You better do. And don't forget to click like, leave a comment. That's all we ask from you guys. And subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs>